All right, so I've been working on another project here. Today is uh, January 26th, I believe. And um, I'm just walking over to walk backwards. You can see our new project. Been working on this for about a week, on and off, weather permitting. And uh, so, anyway, basically milled, not milled, went down to the bottom of the property, got ourselves some cedar posts and our cedar trees, chopped them down, limbed them, and then um, this uh, lumber uh, that you're seeing here, this all came from that building project that we took apart. Uh, the metal uh, roofing there, these are actually 18 foot sections. Um, I believe it's 18, yeah, about 16 or 18 foot sections. That came from that building we took apart as well. And uh, since we're gonna be doing a, an earth bag uh, slash straw bale home, that is going to be just on the other side of the, the building over there. Uh, we decided we would go ahead and use the metal and the wood to make ourselves some shelter. That way all of our, um, our table saws, things like that could be put directly underneath here. Um, a lot of our other, basically almost everything that's loose out here can now be put underneath in this back section. So this first section right here, um, this is going to be uh, basically my um, place to park the car, work on the car whenever it is uh, uh, rainy, you know, inclement weather, or if we have some bad weather, just go ahead and park it underneath just to protect it. Now I do have uh, this other siding and stuff here. These are, I think about uh, 10 to 12 foot pieces. Uh, there's a bunch uh, right over here. And that's basically using up all the rest of the siding that we have. So the rest of this and that siding right there uh, will take care of um, doing, you know, this side, the back side over here, and then uh, the far back side over there. This is weird. I feel like a TV weatherman. And the weather is coming in from the west, which is whatever. Anyhow, so let's take a look. Let's see how it looks. Let's just walk around the building here. So the main posts up above are, they look like two by sixes. And uh, didn't do any purlins or anything because it's just primarily for uh, keeping the water off of everything. And uh, so we got, didn't do girts or any of that kind of stuff. Did on the sides here. Need to do, um, let's see, you got the top one here, the middle one here, and the bottom one there. Need to do the same thing. Need to add a top one here and a top one over here, uh, right here. And then um, on the other side there, down there. So, but anyway, there is a hole uh, that was there for the uh, wood stove. So once we make our, once we build our rocket stove, rocket mass heater for the earth bag house, then we'll probably bring the metal stove out here probably enclose this and make this a um, make this a, a workshop you know something that could be used for working in the shop <laughs> so, anywho so I'm pretty excited about this finally got some sort of shelter now there are uh, if you look up you'll see little holes where the previous nails and stuff are so I need to come back through and uh matter of fact i have some spray sealant you can actually put on it keeps uh will actually close all that stuff up keep any water from coming through and uh so anyway that is the that's been this project for this week getting that going thanks for joining us if you like what you see like our channel please tell people about it and uh we'll see you next time that's uh john with off-grid homesteading have a great day